guard, number one, Jamal Polidor. A 6'1 sophomore from Brooklyn, New York. Another guard, number five, Randy Corcoran, a 5'10 freshman from Harlem, New York. Also at guard, number 10, Donnell Cathcart, a 6'5 freshman from Buffalo, New York. Starting at forward, number 22, William Wilson, a 6'5 sophomore from Harlem, New York. And at freshman number 24, Kofi Mills, a 6'7 sophomore from the Bronx, New York. The Thunder Wolves are coached by Mr. Bill Byline. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineups for the Bulldogs of South Suburban College. At guard, number 20, Rashid Bell, a 6'2 sophomore from Evansville, Indiana. A starting guard, number 21, Armand Benford. A 6'1 sophomore from Lansing, Illinois. Also at guard, number 31, Devin Mingo, a 5'10 sophomore from Country Club Hills, Illinois. At forward, number 23, Anthony Harris, a 6'4 sophomore from Gary, Indiana. And at forward, Number 35, Deontay Cesaro, a 6'6 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. The Bulldogs are coached by Mr. John Pigotti. The officials for this afternoon's contest, John Wilmer, Ford Branch, and Nathan Howey. Those are your starting lineups brought to you by American Eagle Auto, Gla Auto Glass for all your auto glass needs located in the Ileana area. Clearly the right choice. Reach them locally at 443 Glass as we are ready for the opening tip in this one. It's going to be Cicero jumping with Wilson at the center circle. South Suburban in their home white uniforms. Blue numbering, blue lettering in the white trim. Niagara County is they're going to win the tip and the player already <laughs> going up into the stands there, Eric Boy. Niagara County going to start things off. That little hustle play right off the bat to save that position. This is Randy Corcoran, the point guard here for this Niagara County Thunderwolves team. Corcoran moving left on the perimeter. And a quick call right away going to come against Anthony Harris. Anthony Harris, that'll be his first for South Suburban. And Suburban is in man-to-man. -man. Niagara County wearing those blue traveling uniforms. White numbering, white lettering, and white le yellow numbering. Yellow numbering is the uh, ball stolen away here. Back the other way goes Anthony, or Armand Benford, I should say, for South Suburban. Tried to throw it in off of a player out of bounds, and it didn't work. It just skimmed off of him, and Suburban was able to get the ball away. This is Cicero. Over to Benford, right corner. Sends it to Mingo. Coach Bugatti wants some movement on the offense. This is Bell. Bell, very good offensively, takes a shot from the elbow. He knocks it down. First two points of the game for South Suburban. Very smooth from the right elbow there for Rasheed Bell. Half cart with it for the Thunderwolves. Stolen away. That's Mingo on the memories by design turnover. Back the other way. Nice pass to Bell. Bell goes up with it, partially blocked. And coming down with it, there was a foul on that play. This coming against Kofi Mills of the Thunder Wolves. That'll be his first. Hit him on the way up. It was a nice pass. And it was back down to that man, Rasheed Bell, once again. Rasheed Bell had a nice first game against Dakota County. Bell's first free throw on the way. Hit about every part of the rim and bounced out, so he'll miss the first. Country financial agent Dave Harvey free throw. Call Dave today for all of your financial needs at 431-8722. 
Bell ready for shot number two. Front iron missed it, but offensive rebound down to Cicero in South Suburban. Mingo takes it, left baseline, over to Harris. Harris loses it, and there's another memories by design turnover this time against South Suburban. Thunderwolves have it. And stolen away, Mingo with his second steal. Ahead to Bell, Bell, the layup, up and in. Wow, they just tossed the ball down there, and, and Bell just ran under it that time. Four, an alley uh, yeah. Four nothing, the South Suburban lead over Niagara. Nice pass inside, and a great finish there by Kofi Mills. Kofi Mills. Four to two, the South Suburban lead over Niagara County, 18.05 to play in the first half. Here's Mingo, Mingo, left baseline, kicks it to Cicero. Cicero thought about it, gets it back to Mingo for three, nothing but net. Devin Mingo with the three-pointer. That's up Suburban at a middle of, or Niagara at a middle of two-three zone. As another attempt coming from Corporan, he misses, but Kofi Mills there for the easy putback. He's got four. Very quickly, Niagara is and taking advantage of South Suburban standing around on defense. That's not what Coach Pagotti's used to at all. 7-4, yeah. South Suburban with the advantage. As Cicero going to move left baseline, gets it to Bell. Bell, a mid-range jumper. He felt it, but couldn't get it to drop. Rebound down to Niagara. Bell has a very smooth shot from there. Devin Mingo with his third steal in this game. He's all alone. He'll lay it up and in. Devin Mingo is playing great so far in this one. Niagara County back the other way. Another memories by design. Turnover against the Thunderwolves. Nice bounce pass to Anthony Harris. He finishes strong. Thunderwolves are going to take a timeout. That's a good, quick start for South Suburban. Players were really excited. So excited, Eric Boy. They jumped onto the court, and the uh, head official here had to tell him he got got to got to sit back here for a moment. Can't come running out onto the court. Yep. And then uh, that brought the coaches out to say, "Hey, leave the guys alone." But what a tremendous play that time, and what a pass by Rashid Bell. A, a bounce pass, and then for for Harris to be able to pick it up, it was a little low. He scooped it and still had enough body uh, control to get it up into the basket. It's 11 to 4, and already we've seen the turnovers just really hammer Niagara. They're coming down, and they're getting the ball ripped away from them. They're bouncing it off their legs to the other team. It's that fundamental thing that 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 did not cost them against right. Macomb in the first round. That is going to cost them against Suburban here if they don't get it get it figured out in a big hurry. You know, we talked about the 32 turnovers in that last game. If South Suburban plays the style they do. The Thunderwolves may have 40 turnovers in this one, as we're seeing so far. Yeah, half. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they've already got six or seven by now, yeah. at least. And, that's a, and they have got four points, but that's because they worked hard on the rebounds. The score right now is 11-4. South Suburban leads Niagara County early on here, 16-58 to play in the first half, as Niagara County will inbound. We've got a couple substitutions, looks like, for Niagara. Elijah Davey, Elijah one of them. Davey, yes. And there's a bounce pass that goes off the leg of another new sub for the Thunderwolves, Corey Reeves, out of bounds. Another Memories by Design turnover. Memories by Design located in Town Center, your locally owned one-stop shop of amazing things, keepsakes, trophies, bridal anniversary, and more. Fausto Pichardo in now for Niagara as well. Harris finding Bell, top of the perimeter. Slides it to Harris. Harris drives right, has room, finds Cicero. Cicero, right-handed scoop up and in, and he was fouled. Well, he came down from way low, got hit on the way up, and was able to bring his arms up over his head to get it. Don't worry about my bench. Don't worry about my bench. Lost, <laughs> Lost though, Pichardo with his first foul of the game. Basket versus zero, and going to go for the three. And he'll drain it. Nice looking shot there from Deontay Cicero. He has three points in the lead already at 10 for South Suburban over Niagara County, 16-20. The play in the first half. Pichardo, right side, guarded by Bell. Pass over to Corcoran. 
Shot is up and made. That was actually Jamal Polydor, excuse me, on the two-point bucket there. Nice use of the backboard. And that's a big bucket for Niagara County, who's starting to slump a little bit there with the intensity being brought here by South Suburban. Bell, guarded by two, nearly lost it, able to keep it. Cross-court pass to Harris. Harris a deep three on the way, no good. Cicero, offensive rebound for South Suburban. He gets it to Bell. Reset the offense. This is Benford. Benford moving right in the right corner. Now baseline, back up top to Bell. Bell trying to draw a foul. Bell's gonna take it. Pichardo had his hands up. They are gonna call the hack. Two shots coming. He had his hands up, but he also had his hands out. And that's why he got the foul. There was plenty of contact before that foul, mind you. Elijah Davey is going to get charged with the foul there. That'll be his first. Really? <laughs> okay. I thought that was going to be Pichardo, but they give it to Davey. And Bell taking the first free throw. He knocks it down. And for Niagara, Cathcart's back in. As well as William Wilson. Played a pretty good inside game for Niagara in the first half of their first game. Second free throw on the way, and Bell knocks down both shots. Bell has six early on in this one, a 10-point lead for South Suburban over Niagara County. This is Cathcart working on Benford, looking down low, running out of room, slides it over to Reeves, and a reach in there on Bell. That'll be Rasheed Bell's first for South Suburban. And checking just a little too much that time. Referees, that's, that's more of a, a check by the referees. Okay, that's that's more than enough. We'll keep an eye on it this time. Bichardo will inbound to Elijah Davey. Davey to Cat Card. Cat Card takes a deep three. Back iron shoots out, no good. Rebound down to Bell and South Suburban. They're looking to run. Finds Harris. Harris with the shot up. He was fouled on the way. Well, that was a, a lob pass all the way down court. And, and Harris came back for it. Or Cesaro, I should say, come back for it. No, it was Harris. Came back for it and like an outfielder, circled under it, caught it, and then uh, really didn't have much of a shot coming back, but he did get fouled up, so there will be two shots here. He had to track that ball. It was Elijah Davey on the foul. That's his second, and at the line shooting, Anthony Harris. First shot, rims in and out. And uh, Allen Washington will come in. Second free throw, upcoming. For Niagara and Allen Washington is in the game. Anthony Harris knocks that one down. Harris with three. And now an 11 point lead for South Suburban, their biggest of the game. 17-6, 14-55 to play here in the first half. Niagara moves left, three on the way. Just barely misses as that touched about every part of the rim, and we're gonna get an offensive foul. This one coming against William Wilson. That'll be his first. Yeah, there's about three different times people jumped up for that rebound. And each time it managed to catch a piece of the rim. I thought it might go up and hit the top of the backboard. He's had a couple of those already today. In fact, a couple of them have gone in after hitting that tape. They had to take them away from the guys. Mingo to Cicero inside. Cicero's gonna finish strong, and he was fouled. Niagara. Looking for answers right now. Wilson's got two fouls in a hurry. William Wilson with his second foul, and now two players on Niagara's team with two fouls as Cicero will visit the Country Financial Agent Dave Harvey free throw line. Free throw on the way, and he knocks it down. Cicero two of two on free throws. He has six points, and this lead now for South Suburban at 14. 20 to six, 14-37 to play in the first half. Remember in that first game, South Suburban got all of their points right under the basket. Yes. As we looked at the, at the shot selection, and in the first half, only three times did they not get a, a shot from under the basket. Niagara going to try for some points inside, and that's a strong move there by Danelle Cathgard, who finishes and knocks down that basket. He'll head to the free throw line as well. Cesaro will get the foul there. It was a really good job that time by Cathgard, again, using a, a great deal of body control to get up there and, and continue with the play. 
Jamal Polydor will come back in for Niagara. Out goes Corey Reeves. As Cathcart, chance for a free throw here. And he'll knock it down, nothing but net. Cathcart with three points. 20 to nine, now the South Suburban lead over Niagara, near a turnover there. Mingo down low to Cicero, Cicero shot up and spins it in. Cicero has eight, and Niagara County looking for answers under the basket. Cicero doing a great job under the hoop. Polydor to Pichardo to Aline Washington, and he gets it over to Corcoran. Good job by South Suburban team and Polydor for getting to the basket. To no Cathcart. Going to drive to the hoop, and he was fouled on the way before the shot. That That's coming against okay. Devin Mingo. Yeah. That, that time, Bingo, uh, Mingo didn't, uh, didn't get in front of him enough. Under the basket here is Aline Washington. He was partially blocked by Cicero in South Suburban. Going to go back the other way. Harris to Mingo. Back to Harris. Two-man game. They miss. Tip up and in. Anthony Harris is everywhere. Five points for him. 24 to nine. South Suburban leading Niagara. There is a 30-second timeout being charged to the Thunderwolves. Media. Okay, we'll get our media it's on the next break. Timeout, so. okay. there, there is it's, a, it's a little confusing, but we've got it. 13.43 to play here in the first half. South Suburban storming out to a 24 to nine lead here early in this one. And what have you liked so far from South Suburban, Eric? Uh, just about everything. <laughs> uh, they've been, they've uh, really done well. Uh, defense sometimes on the inside, reaching um, with their hands a little bit more than they probably should. But other times they're getting the body in front of it and keeping it, making it tough for uh, Niagara to get anything done. And Niagara just needs to take care of the ball. Yes. They don't take care of the ball. They're they not going to win this game. Shakur Pinder now in the game for South Suburban. Shakur Pinder made a big difference off the bench for South Suburban in that Dakota County game that we saw. Had about four blocks and also eight points in that one, I believe. As Cathcart doing everything offensively, but he walks on this one. That will be a Memories by Design turnover. Now and we're going to have a media timeout. Here comes our media timeout. We'll go ahead and take it 24 to 9. The South Suburban lead over Niagara County. We've got 13 26 to play in the first half. You're watching the NJCAA Basketball Championships on NJCAA TV and live on 1490 WDAN and Vermilion County First.com. And back here at the Mary Miller Gymnasium on the campus of Danville Area Community College, Anthony Wilder, Eric Loy here with you for game three on day three. All timeouts brought to you by Tilton Pro Lube, top-notch service, pins oil products, convenience, all in one location located at the corner of Ross Lane and Georgetown Road. South Suburban right now leads Niagara County 24-9. There's 13-15 to play in the first half as they go down loaded Shakur Pinder. Pinder, nice left-handed hook up and in. Well, he had a great position on the block. All he had to do, turn it over, and that's what he did. Corporate back the other way. Reverse layup is able to go. He gets that bucket, and he'll head to the country financial agent Dave Harvey free throw line. And that's one of the things that uh, went really well for Niagara in the first game. When Corporate decided to start driving, and then either kicked the ball out or he got fouled and went to the line a lot. That's what he's going to do here. And the reverse layup went in, so a chance to get the three-point play. Couple substitutions as Aline Washington goes out for Niagara County and LaTerrence Reed comes in. First time we're seeing him. Anthony Harris 
who just picked up that foul, by the way. His second is going to head to the bench, and Cicero back in as Corporan will miss the free throw. And for uh, South Suburban, going a little big here, Eric, with uh, Pender and Cicero in the game. Shot clock was not reset. They're going to have to... They're going to take a moment to uh, stop play and reset the shot clock. It was down to one. Well, now it's up to 29. Twelve fifty-five. Now down to twenty-four. <laughs> it's going to be random numbers the rest of the way. <laughs> Three. Three. Now it's up to eighteen. Now it's down to four. This is Benford between the circles, finding Cicero, top of the key, slides it over to Mingo. Mingo to Bell. Bell mid-range shot. He was working there on that nice series of picks to get him open. And Rasheed Bell so good with that mid-range game. He has eight. Well, that was that was sweet. The jump shot. Had he was moving sideways, but stopped and went straight up with no movement sideways whatsoever. And that jump shot. Bichardo is going to step on the baseline there, and that's going to be another memories by design turnover. It's too many. Too many for the Thunder Wolves. You're not going to win these big games with all the turnovers. That's right. Kofi Mills is back in for Niagara. We haven't seen their 6'11 player yet. Not yet, uh, Mr. McNeil. Adam McNeil on the bench. Series of picks here coming. Nice job going to Bell. Bell on the left corner to Mingo. Mingo drives baseline, misses the shot. Active hands by South Suburban on the offensive rebound. But I believe Cicero walked. He did. That's yeah. a memory by design turnover. Boy, a lot of work by South Suburban there. Niagara's going to be wondering where are they coming from? Just everywhere at once. It's really, it, it's. And a team that is prone to having turnovers, you've got to be scared to even pass the ball at this point. Corporan to Cathcart, Cathcart to Reeves. Reeves takes the jumper, he misses. Back iron, shoots out. Benford down with the rebound. He wants to run, has some room, runs out of room, and gets it over to Bell, back to Benford. Listens to Coach Pagotti, who yells out two. Double two. Double two. Over to Bell. Bell, nice move past one defender, just barely misses that shot. And it's going to be almost tipped out of bounds, but Niagara County, good hustle there by Cathcart to keep it in as they move past the timeline. Cathcart, pump fake, drives to about the free throw line. Nice spin move on Pender and a great pass, but Mills was not ready. Well, that was probably a move more towards basket to shoot. Mills is thinking he's going to have a, have a guy shoot on him, and suddenly he's got the ball in his face. Corporate tried to force it underneath, and Devin Mingo gets his fourth steal of the game. Up top to Bell. Bell barely misses. Ball knocked straight up in the air. Niagara County down with it. They're looking to run. This is Reeves. Reeves with a crossover. And a nice, a pretty layup there from Corey Reeves. Very well done. Reeves uh, gets, gets him back within 15. 28-13, South Suburban leading Niagara County. 10.50 to play here in the first half. And... Uh, South Suburban in the one and one bonus and a charge going to be called there on Cicero. That could be trouble for South Suburban as that's his second. And they're going to be making some substitutions anyway here. Lee Howard going to check in for South Suburban as well as Jordan Matthews. Cicero will take a seat as well as Devin Mingo who has been a terror on defense so far this game for South Suburban. I believe four steals for Mingo so far this one. And his, his steals have been just reaching and take them. Right. right. And again, Thunder Wolves trying to force something. Nearly lost it. Reeves trying to force it inside to Mills. There's another memories by design turnover. They've got to have at least double-digit turnovers so far. Yeah, Matthews came up with that one for uh, Suburban. Here's Howard. Howard to Bell. Bell down low to Pinder. Pinder really good down low as he works inside. He was fouled. Well, uh, Corcoran, they're going to say a shot to the head there, and that'll be Corcoran's first. Corcoran? Okay. Corcoran's winning. I wasn't near that. <laughs> and I and, and coach is saying, coaching, he wasn't near that play, but Pinder ends will, up with his first foul anyway. Pinder at the free throw line. This is a one and one, and he'll make the first. Pinder with three. <laughs> and now officials asking for a timeout for just a moment 
coming over to go Coach Bugatti. Well, they already made one. They made one already. They're going to check. Uh, the refs are going to take a look at the replay real quick. That'll uh, give us a chance real quick to tell you, fans, you can follow all the action of the 2017 NJCAA Men's and Women's Basketball Championships live on NJCAA TV. Just go to www.njcaatv.com to view live and archived video of each game. Relive all the exciting plays and championship moments by visiting www.njcaatv.com. Uh, they're, they're reviewing here the play as to, um, I'm sure they're reviewing as to who got fouled. Right. I think they got it right. You think it was Corcoran? No, uh, of who got fouled. Oh, of who got fouled. Um, I'm not sure you could overturn the fouler who threw foul. Maybe you can. Well, Pinder had already made a free throw. So, I mean, can they rescind that I'm shot? Sure they can. Okay. They can mark it off. If you can look at it, you can, if, if you can review it, you can knock it off, I yeah. think. They're not ready to go yet. But I, I'm, I was really kind of confused by the call on Corporate because I don't think he was in the play. Right. He was up top of the perimeter. Yeah, um, and they, they, the play was uh, the the suburban player was backing in, and he was bodying with the player. And I thought right. for sure that was a foul on the player behind him. Exactly. We'll see how this rolls. We've had pretty good crowds here for the, uh, the championship side of the tournament. Pretty good crowd here right now. Hasn't been the loudest, but it's, a, it's a over half full. Let's see what we got here. They're still taking a look at it. Taking a look at things. By the way, our scoreboard brought to you by East Main Street Dairy Queen, now serving up your favorite soft serve treats and Orange Julius Premium Smoothies. Try the Mint Oreo Blizzard. It's the Blizzard of Which the Month. Me, I know. I'm not sure what they can review here, Coach. East Main Street Dairy Queen, again, the proud sponsor of our scoreboard, to reach 29 13 in favor of South Suburban over Niagara County, 10 19 to play here in the first half. Now they took it, I think what they've done here is they've taken the foul away from five. Right. Should it be 30 now? No, it's 29. Did we have 28 before? It's 28 to start. Wait a minute, wait a minute, they just took the foot. So now they're gonna change the change recipient the free of shooter. the free throw shooter and that's going to be Rasheed Bell. So Rasheed Bell, Bell is going to take the free throws instead of Pinder and Bell will make the first. Anyway. So I'll take that one off of Pinder. 9 points for Rashid Bell early on in this one. <laughs> coach, coach says in our heart you made the shot. <laughs> no lack of good. No lack of animation from coach Pagatti as Rashid Bell knocks both of those free throws down. It's a 30-13 lead for yeah. South Suburban in this one. I don't think I don't think Niagara gained anything by having Bell shoot anything. Bell makes everything he shoots. Cathcart going to take the shot, excuse me, Reeves, and coming down with it will be Bell of South Suburban. Coach Bagali asked him to slow it down a little bit. Howard to Matthews around the perimeter. Matthews back up top to Bell. Well, I can tell you this right now, folks. Bell's going to be playing somewhere higher level next time. Pender going to take a deep shot. I was not expecting that from Pender, but he knocks down a shot from about the free throw line, showing his range. He has four. Yep, 32-13. 9.35 to play here in the first half. The Thunderwolves of Niagara County looking for answers. They're being swarmed right now by this defense. And Reed driving inside. I thought it was a uh, travel at first, and I think this official was getting ready to call it, but it's going to be a foul instead. And they're going to get and Lee Howard on that foul. Like Howard, yep. And at the line shooting will be LaTerrence Reed. For the Thunderwolves, his first shot is good. And now for South Suburban is Armand Bedford. Second free throw on the way for Reed. 
And he misses. Pender jumps in for the rebound. South Suburban controls it 32-14 over Niagara County. 9-20 to play during the first half. Now Matthews. Suburban ran off to a big lead in their game against Dakota, and Dakota fought back. So. They did. Mingo pump fake drives inside on two defenders. The shot, a wild one, no good. Benford with the offensive rebound. He goes up with it. He's fouled hard. Oh, no, they call the charge. Hit the deck, and they're going to call that a charge on Benford. Okay. That'll be Armand Benford's first. All right. I, that, was, that was interesting. It was, there was a lot of collisions going on including Mingo, who was flattened as he took the shot. Mills and with it. Sometimes when you're behind by a lot, you start getting a little call your way. Like this one. They're going to call that on... Yeah, they're going to call that on Elijah Davey. That'll be Davey's third, so... Well, they no, said well, 21. South Suburban. That's, that's Excuse Benford's me. second. I'm on the wrong team. That's on Benford. That'll be Benford's second. And Suburban will bring in Daniel Miyajkovic. <laughs> First free throw coming for Kofi Mills. Back iron, no good. Calf cart there for the offensive rebound. He lost it. Now scrum on the ground. They're going to say jump ball. Possession arrow is in favor of South Suburban. And now coming in for Niagara is Pichardo again. Pichardo uh, really was a catalyst for some things for Niagara, especially that second half against McComb. Mingo of South Suburban past the timeline, gets it to Miatovic. Gets it to Matthews, left side. Matthews running out of room, nearly had it stolen away. They're going to get it over to Mingo. Mingo between the circles, 10 seconds on the shot clock. He goes left with it, drives inside, and they're going to get him on a travel. That'll be a memories by design turnover. Kind of a hop, skip, and jump run that time. And uh, unless you're in the NBA, you're probably not going to get that. Yes. 32-14, South Suburban leads Niagara County. 8-15 to play in the first half. Ball on the baseline to Reed. Reed just barely misses that shot. Back the other way we go. Mingo with it, crossover on one. Finds Matthews. Matthews takes the deep jumper, and he knocks it down. I don't believe it was a three. It was a two. Yeah, if it rolled around and went in, rolled and rolled. Boy, Mingo runs, goes down quickly, doesn't he? Sometimes he gets in too far, has to turn around and come back. 34-14 now, the South Suburban lead of 20. Pichardo with it, left side, gonna drive baseline, misses, and that is last touch by South Suburban. It will stay with Niagara County under their own basket. Good uh, good try by Pichardo that time, tried to go reverse. Threw it up too high and too hard, and it did not go. And South, it came in in a pass of South Suburban players, but went right down the body and off somebody's big old foot and out of bounds. Corcoran and Wilson will come back in for Niagara. And this is Reeves in the right corner, and they're going to say he traveled. Another memories by design turnover. Way too many coming for the Thunderwolves so far in this one. And it'll be interesting to see the stats when we get them. The stats brought to you by Winters Computing Services. Mingo with it. For South Suburban, gets it to Matthews, left side. Matthews gonna take the three, no good. Rebound down to Niagara County. Was Yachtovich. a foul on the play. Yaktovich will get the foul. Yaktovich with his first. Justin Allen Washington back in for Niagara. Yaktovich getting an earful from coach. The, um, 34-14 is the score right now, and Niagara has really not been able to get anything going. No. On offense. It's just, it's been the the turnovers that they were able to overcome against Macomb, South Suburban's made them pay. First free throw is good by William Wilson at the Country Financial Agent Dave Harvey free throw line. He knocks down the first, getting ready for the second. That lead now down to 19 for South Suburban. 7.22 to play here in the first half. 
Here comes the second. Back iron, shoots straight out. Rebound down at South Suburban's Pinder. And they'll control it. And also, Niagara was 7 of 17 shooting threes in that first game. They have not got one in this one at all. Miaktovic down low to Pender. Pender with a pretty move. He has six points, and what a weapon off the bench for South Suburban is Pender. Nice Corporate. pass Ooh. by Miaktovic. Mingo almost had another one, almost had another one. Nearly had it stolen two times and finally does. Pinder going to come up with it. Another memory by design turnover against Niagara County. Back the other way. Matthews down low to Howard. Howard blocked away by Aline Washington. And South Suburban still has the ball. Howard went up with it. Was again blocked away this time by Pichardo. Niagara coming down with it past the timeline. Corporan moving left. Finding Pichardo. Slides it to Reed. And now Reeves. Right side, top of the perimeter, driving baseline. Foul before the shot, I believe. And that will be on. Foul whistle on number 33, Sunil Miatovic. 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 That's his second, I believe. At the line shooting, Corey Reeves. Had a nice two earlier. He knocks down the first. And Rashid Bell, as well as Ihab El Tayeb, will come in. We've seen him in the game, Ihab El Tayeb. He's a big fella. Yes, he is. Second free throw upcoming and knocked down by Reeves. Makes two out of two there on the free throws, and we do have our media timeout coming. We'll go ahead and take it. You're watching the NJCAA Basketball Championships on NJCAA TV, listening on 1490 WBAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. And back here at the Mary Miller Gymnasium on the campus of Dan Valeri Community College. Anthony Wilder, Eric Loy here for game three on day three. South Suburban leading Niagara County here in the winner's side of the bracket. 36-17, 6-20 to play here in the first half. This is Mingo to Bell. Bell trapped by two and a kick ball there against Justin Aline Washington of Niagara County. That's a good job by Niagara County there. They're gonna need to they're gonna need to force South Suburban into doing some things they don't want to do. And that means trapping. That means a lot of pressure. They're gonna need to get the ball away from it. 6-10 to play here in the first half. 15 seconds on the shot clock for South Suburban. Matthews has plenty of room, takes the three. No good. Pichardo down with the rebound for Niagara. Niagara looking to run. And now they're gonna slow it down. Corcoran. Guarded by Pinder at the top of the key. And just a bad play there by Niagara County is not ready for that one on the pass. We got a scrum there about at half court. Reeves not happy with what was going on there. They said they called a timeout. I think so they got a timeout call, did Niagara County. Timeouts again brought to you by Tilton Pro Loop, Top Notch Service, Pennzoil Products, Convenience, all in one location, located at the corner of Ross Lane and Georgetown Road. And also, 
Spalding is proud to be the official basketball of the National Junior College Athletic Association. Spalding's TF-1000 Legacy Ball is used exclusively at all NJCAA basketball championships, and the NJCAA thanks Spalding for their continued support. Spalding through to the game right now. 36-17 says the East Main Street Dairy Queen scoreboard. 5.36 to play here until halftime. South Suburban again with that 36-17 lead. I uh, spot a couple of uh, BACC women's players in the audience. I uh, did a lot of their games this year uh, on uh, the MillionCandyFirst.com. Uh, uh, Desiree Isaac, who from Danville, improved as the season went on, uh, joining the team later in the season. And Allison Gill, who had a lot of three-point shots. For yeah. This year. Niagara County looking for some offense here. Here's Capcart, and that was only a two. Oh. Well, that's what they need to do. I think they can take one step back and hit a couple of those threes. Cathcart with five, the lead, 36-19 in favor of South Suburban. There was a foul called here. That's going to be El Tayeb, I believe, will get the foul. Cesaro about ready to come back in. Wilson picks up the foul for Niagara County. El Tayeb will go to the free throw line. Wilson? Nope. What? That's the wrong team. They called it on Niagara? Well, no one's no. really sure now. We'll wait to see what the call is here. They're going to go back to the uh, replay monitor and give us a chance to tell you that fans, you can Follow all the action of the 2017 NJCA Men's and Women's Basketball Championships live on NJCAA TV. Just go to www.njcaatv.com to view live and archived video of each game. You can relive all the exciting plays and championship moments by visiting www.njcaatv.com. And the uh, discrepancy here, Eric Loy, is who committed the foul, I believe. Uh, originally, it went to William Wilson on the scoreboard of Niagara County, but now they have it listed as El Tayeb of South Suburban. I thought it was, I thought it was, the foul was on South Suburban. That would be El Tayeb because that's who it was locked up on. El Tayeb is a, is a big sort, a little brutish on the inside. Yeah. And I say that in all admiration because if I was that big, I'd be throwing it around too, you know. But uh, it's been interesting to see how these teams um, clash in styles. Unfortunately, right now, we're going to get the call from referees. Who's the foul on? Still talking here at the uh, scoring table. Who's got the ball and went out? The referees are going to call it talk again. So was it a double foul there? Did they call one on Wilson no. and one on Altayeb? Well, it's going to be South okay, Suburban inbounding. Gonna, I'm going to call it on both of them. <laughs> Bell gets it to Benford. Benford back to Bell. Bell double teamed, puts the ball near the ground, and uh, because of that, it's going to be a jump ball, and the possession arrow is in favor of Niagara County. He didn't do nothing. That guy grabbed the ball. Coach Pagotti yep. letting and the that, officials hear it. And that's what Niagara needs to do. They need to get in their face, and they need to swarm them and, and cause them to make mistakes. And they're, they're at the turnover with Niagara's way. Kofi Mills over to Cathcart. Janelle Cathcart down low to Pichardo. Pichardo just about lost it. Tried to cross did. him over, and this time he does lose it. A memories by design turnover. Way too many to count so far this half for Niagara. He uh, slipped on the floor. 36-19, the lead for South Suburban over Niagara County. 4.50 to play here in the first half. Mingo over to Benford. Benford driving baseline, right side. Wow, tough nice. move as he forces that one up and in. Benford with his first points of the game. 
Nicely done by Ben for that time. Usually an assist man, he took it himself. Blocked from the three point line. Polydor gets blocked by Altayeb, goes up with the shot, missed. And that's gonna be Pichardo come down with it, but Altayeb stripped him. Mingo back the other way, puts the shot up and makes it. Wow, Altayeb with a great uh, series on defense there. Two blocks, a steal, and an assist on the, on the play. Now, now they're gonna think twice about hitting that at number 44. 4.04 to play here in the first half. 40-19 South Suburban leading Niagara County. Cathcart goes up with it. They're going to say a blocking foul on, I believe, Bell there on the ground. Yeah, be Bell's Bell. going to get a second foul. And at that time, they just went straight at him. That's what they have to do. And they're just going, they're just going in there, and they are just got to make contact, try to get some people in foul trouble and work from there. Coach Bugatti gets a warning. <laughs> Players try to hold him back. Tadell Cathcart will make his first. Texas Financial Agent Dave Harvey free throw. He has six points. 40 to 20 is the score, less than four to go. Another free throw upcoming here for Cathcart. Second free throw, rims in and out, and there's Pinder of South Suburban coming down with the rebound. Benford takes it past the timeline, past the pick, has quite a bit of room over there on the right side. He'll take the shot and he'll drain it. All right, Benford. Two straight baskets for him, nice ones. Back the other way, and oh. there's a three-pointer, I believe, by LaTerrence Reed. It was Reed. Reed made a free throw earlier, and now he'll make his first basket of the game. He has four. He has turned around and shot that one. Didn't let anybody get set. 42-23, a 19-point lead for South Suburban. Shot goes up there by Benford. He was fouled, and he'll head to the free throw line. Second time he worked off a, uh, a El Taya pick and just a straight out pick. And, and El Tayeb is so big that the player guarding him, and I believe that's Corcoran, gets lost around him. It's like coming around the world to come get him. And by the time he's, he's on, he gets back to Benford. Benford's at the basket. First free throw on the way, knocked down by Benford. Benford with five. That foul, by the way, on Kofi Mills. That was his second. Randy Corcoran going to head out of the game for Niagara County, and Corey Reeves will check back in. Rasheed Bell will go out for South Suburban, and Jordan Matthews comes in. And Anthony, Anthony Harris, Harris will also check in for South Suburban. Altaya will go out. Good, good job by Altaya. Yeah, that was a good couple minutes for him. Yeah, yeah. He's here, number, number, number five off the bench, uh, and he puts in that type of performance. That's pretty good. Yes. As the second free throw rims in and out. Niagara County coming down with the rebound. Past the timeline, they'll go. Here's Aline Washington taking a jumper. He misses, rebound down to Benford in South, South Suburban. Benford looking left, getting it to Matthews. Matthews all alone in the corner for three. He knocks it down. Jordan Matthews with his first. Jenna Worth, State Farm, three-point shot. He knocks it down. He has five points off the bench, and that's out. Suburban lead now 23. They lead at 46-23. A three coming back the other way by Danelle Cathcart and Niagara. He misses, and that tough rebound coming down. Two men had their hand on the ball there, but they foul will be called on Sean Pinder, or Shakur Pinder, excuse me, and that will be his first. Mills will be at the Country Financial Agent Dave Harvey free throw line shooting. And he'll miss the front end of the one and one. I thought it was a two shot foul. It is a two shot foul. I don't think the players were aware of what was actually going on there, thinking it was a one and one. Who got the three points for Suburban? Just a moment ago? Yeah. Jordan Matthews. Yeah. See, South Suburban doesn't shoot a lot of threes. They've got a couple this game now. Mills missed the first, here comes the second. He'll make that one. Mills with five and a 46-24 lead for South Suburban, 235 to play here until halftime. This is Benford, 
Right side, finding Matthews. Matthews cross court pass to Mingo in the right corner. Mingo looking left, firing right. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Left corner, that's Mingo losing it out of bounds. It will stay with South Suburban. Well, it was a good job that time by Matthews and, and uh, actually good job by Niagara not letting him get inside. Once Matthews did get in, he had a man open, but Harris just dropped it and luckily for them it hit off a Niagara player. Three, two, one. one. second on the shot clock. They get the shot up and it did not touch the rim. It will be a shot clock violation unless there was a foul actually called there. The foul. Wow. Tough call there against Niagara will be on Justin Aline Washington, his first, and will send Anthony Harris to the country financial agent, Dave Harvey, free throw line. Yeah, and the player here for Niagara, Cathcart, had to walk all the way down the other end of the court. And you can see the steam rising from the valley. He's so good. Harris makes the first. He has six. That lead at 23 now for South Suburban. Their largest lead of the game. Second on the way is good. And uh, seven points now for Harris. It's amazing. You mentioned only two three-pointers this half for South Suburban, but they still nearly have 50 points well, they before don't have half. To shoot, and, they, and they work the ball around so well, and they get the ball into the basket. And their shots, their, their shooting percentage is high because they're shooting the shots they take are high percentage shots. And then they play defense like that, Sha swat the ball away, like Shakur Pender just did. Shakur Pender is just, uh, does a tremendous job off the bench. South Suburban is a deep team. They're going to be hard to beat by anybody. Niagara County is getting their wrath right now. As stuck in the corner, good defense by South Suburban. As that's going to be another turnover, a memories by design turnover. 48-24 South Suburban leading Niagara County, 153 until half. Back in is Rasheed Bell. I've got him with 10. As do I. South Suburban and Benford taking it past the timeline over to Mingo. Niagara showing a little trap here and now Bell with it. Going to give it to Mingo. Mingo thought about his shot, declined. Now Mingo will take the three and he knocks it down. 10 points for Devin Mingo. And now a 51-24 lead for South Suburban. They're pulling away in this one. Right, Mingo's doing it all, isn't he, at this point? Passing, defense, three-pointers. Block shot now on this end. That was, again, Mr. Pinder with a block shot coming the other way. Nice pass by Benford inside to Pinder. He loses it on his way up. And last touched, out of bounds by Niagara, by Niagara so. That, that pass was so quick, Pinder wasn't ready for He it. was not ready. It was a bullet, though. Coach Bugatti going to take a timeout here. Again, all timeouts brought to you by Tilton Pro Lube. It's a 30-second timeout. Top-notch service, Pennzoil products, convenience, all in one location, located at the corner of Ross Lane and Georgetown Road. Also gives us a chance to talk about our three-point shot sponsor, Jenna Worth State Farm agent as uh, where you can always get a free agent with every policy you can call jenna today at 217-442-4698 and remember she is licensed in illinois and indiana boy all right now there isn't anything that suburban is doing wrong it's it's tough for coach to find something to yell about yeah that's the hey well he yells at the referees uh, he always does that yes yeah. it's it's really uh a couple of defensive lapses that's about it and sometimes their own players aren't ready for how good they're playing. That's a good thing to have happen. There's two things I'll be curious to see at halftime. One is South Suburban's field goal percentage. The other is how many turnovers Niagara County has. As South Suburban inbounds it in the left corner, they're going to slide it around the perimeter. 105 to play until halftime. 15 seconds on the shot clock. There's a lane for Benford. He'll take it. And he'll miss the shot, but he was fouled on his way up. By Big Adam McNeil back in the game now, 6'11". And he'll pick up the foul right away. Foul biggest player <laughs> biggest player listed in the, to the, line for South in the program guide. Armand Benford. Armand Benford will get a couple chances to get up to seven points if he makes both of these. First one good. First free throw good there by Benford. He has six. What do you do if you're Niagara's coach? 
Bill so no. Beeline tell his team. Go out there and keep, keep trying. Second free throw off the mark by Benford. Rebound down to Niagara County. 58 seconds and counting. 52-24. Here comes a deep three on the way by LaTerrence Reed. He misses in the rebound down to South Suburban. 45 seconds remain. Benford trying to run the offense here for South Suburban. Looking left, firing left, finding Mingo. Mingo at the top of the perimeter, takes the three, rims in and out. Pinder there for the offensive rebound. A tough one. He puts it back up and in. Pinder with eight off the bench and some blocks to go along with it. Oh, he's, he's playing great too. Another three on the way for Niagara. They'll drain this one. Corey Reeves with seven off the bench. And that lead, 54-27 for South Suburban, 15 seconds until halftime. Mingo with it. Gonna be double teamed, gets it over to Benford. Benford to Matthews, Matthews. Down low, Pender working inside. And they'll say he cleared out. Which he did. Charged with his second foul against Pender. Al Tayeb yep. will come Back in. in. the last six seconds of the half. 6.4 remains. Niagara County trying to inbound. They find Reed. Reed with oh, him. And that's going to be big collision in front of us. And that is pretty flagrant. And they're going to get Adam McNeil on his second. So he comes into the game and gets two fouls right away. 3.6 remains. That was, uh, that was about as blatant as you could get. 6'11 guy just laid a shoulder into him. Matthews will inbound. South Suburban with one last chance before half. Benford all the way to the basket. He just barely misses. And that is how we will go to halftime. 54-27 as South Suburban easily controlling this one over Niagara County. We'll head to our River Bottom Farms Incorporated halftime show. River Bottom Farms Incorporated, your area screen, topsoil supply.